to Info Simcoe. My name is Madison Fitzpatrick. And today in studio joining us, we have Kevin from the Georgian Bay Métis Council. Hi, Kevin, how are you? I'm great, Madison. Thanks for having me. No, thank you for coming in. So for people that don't know, tell us a little bit about what the Georgian Bay Métis Council is. Well, the Georgian Bay Métis Council is a community council within the Métis Nation of Ontario. Uh, so we represent in our catchment area, so we have boundaries that include almost up to Moon River area, up to Aurelia, parts of Barrie, and the surrounding areas. Uh, and we really house the Georgian Bay and Environs Métis community. So that is a larger regional community. But why this is important for us is because we are of primarily Métis from Drummond Island area who migrated after the War of 1812, so around 1828, uh, to, to Penetang And at that point, that's where we settled. And we were an individual um, indigenous community uh, set aside and different than all others and recognized under uh, chartered rights. And what we're trying to do now is um, we're trying to find a way to capture and save our Métis heritage. So for a long time after the rebellion that occurred in Red River, Manitoba, there was a period called the Dark Times. And many of the sashes, that you might know of sashes that Métis yeah. wear, but there are some with some dark black bands to represent this. And in the Dark Times, people were kind of shunned and they were worried about putting up their hands. Just like you know, a, a kid in a classroom that doesn't really want to say, I'm, I'm me. Right. Uh, and that was going on. So it was suppressing a lot of who they were. And a lot of people lost track of, you know, are they Métis even? And they didn't, they didn't want to miss out on a job opportunity or, or that. So they, that was the dark times. Uh, I like to feel we're coming out of that. And part of the grant that we received from Heritage Canada is giving us an opportunity to kind of cross that bridge and get over that kind of piece. And this is letting us um, invite our citizens in with objects, items that are Métis heritage that their family has had or they've crafted, and also of their knowledge and their stories. So specifically, uh, elders is where I really would love to have more participation. I'd like to capture some of those, that knowledge and those stories before it's too late. Mm -hmm. So in doing so, we have a kit now where it's photography, videography, uh, we have a young Métis citizen, Drew Fairley. She's got a business, photography business, and she's also a fellow council member of Amazing. the Georgia Bay Métis Council. And even today, now, presently, she's mm -hmm. recording some information from one of our citizens for this endeavor. Now, these items are going to go online on our online museum, which we're fabricating at this moment. Uh, but we're also putting out some information about it as they come in to Facebook. So the community can share it. Um, I'd say one of the pieces that um, many people might not know about the Georgian Bay and Environs Métis is that in the War of 1812, we really assisted Canada in some degree. And that's part of why I feel in my, in my thoughts that they had to move off of Drummond Island when it was uh, handed over to the US. Where are you going to go? Mm -hmm. And Penetang Machine was that spot. Um, one of the places part of trying to make a home is you need some land. And another piece I'd like to capture some information on and knowledge out with this digital heritage work we're doing is anyone who has stories about that. So even if it's hand-me-down information from one grandfather to, to their son and their son and so on, I'd like to capture that about when they were trying to make um, a land claim in Penetang Machine. So there is something called the Penetang Petition which happened quite some time ago in the 1800s to get some land for Métis. And I'd love to revisit as many stories about that as possible, uh, as well as materials and items from that time. Yeah, so what types of things are you looking to capture? Obviously, you mm -hmm. know, pictures, um, items, like what can people look for, you know, around their house that, that might be a good object for, for you to archive? I think that's a great question. Thanks for teeing that up, Madison. <laughs> So, uh, for example, an item that we just received from uh, citizen uh, Isidore LePage. And Isidore is, I believe, 94, but he is so much energy, like he's like 60. So he is great. We just had him, and he brought in some pictures that are actually 
10 made pictures. Oh my gosh. And I'm trying to source the fabrication type so we could share that online as well. So not just have it as like, this is when this picture was taken, this is the Métis heritage aspect, but also the design tech behind it and, and what happened. Uh, you may have those, your family may have those. Please bring them in. Um, old beadwork. So one of the pieces I'd love to get mm -hmm. is I'd love to get someone's family's beadwork through the generations to right. demonstrate how it's changed, but how it stayed similar within that family as well. Um, and same thing with some sashes. I would really like to get some period sashes. So I, I did receive one um, from about the 90s. Uh, but I'd like to go much earlier back if that's possible. Yeah. So those are only just some examples. Um, another example, we received some hand-carved lures for fishing. Um, more of that type of item would mm -hmm. be great. Anyone who has tools, if you have tools that were used in any type of Métis way of living, please bring those in. I would love to take photographs of that and uh, our council wants to share that with everyone. So how can, yeah. how can somebody get in contact with you if they have an item? Okay, so the easiest way is to contact on our website, so GBMC, um, if you search in Google, for example, <laughs> just Georgia Bay Métis Council and our website will pop up. And within that, you'll find the contact us section and you'll see this mug among all other council members as well. So my email is right there. You can contact me through that. Another great avenue is our Facebook page. So the Georgia Bay Métis Council has, I think we're well over, 2,000 members now easily um, and uh, you'll find tagged to the top a way to um, schedule an appointment to come in. Um, now if you are not able to come in, so we have created with these funds a kit that lets us go remote. So let's say you have an elder or someone who um, doesn't have the ability to come in, uh, email me personally okay, or the GBMC contact at gmail.com, our main email and we'll find a way to come to you, okay? Perfect. Well, we're yeah. so thankful that you were able to come into the studio to talk with us today. We <laughs> hope that this uh, brings more pieces for your archive as well. <laughs> oh, great. I really appreciate the opportunity and uh, for you being such a great ally to spread the word. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Well, stay tuned for more Info Simcoe.